Hello YouTube, uh, today I'll be showing you uh, how to um, transfer and uh, etch uh, a PCB at your home with a minimal setup and uh, basically uh, I have uh, two uh, copper clay PCB board here and uh, the printed uh, layout and uh, you got to be uh, careful with the uh, material of the uh, paper you're printing on using this Orvis uh, the Orvis uh, catalog I particularly choose the uh, high glossy um, paper right here and uh, you need it to be fairly thick so it feeds through the printer fine and uh, the printer you have to use laser printer so let's take a close look at it and uh, I'll be uh, cleaning up these uh, copper boards copper clay boards and uh, then I uh, will start transferring okay guys uh, I'm now down in my basement and uh, we're gonna start it to uh, cleaning up these boards with uh, just regular uh, dishwasher um, a scrub uh, some 91% alcohol and also uh, the uh, acetone. Some water. Let's start scrubbing, uh, scrubbing the board. So it got rid of. Because uh, when I was cutting the board, there are a lot of uh, particles left on there. And then uh, some It's during the uh, manufacturing process, uh, there are a lot of uh, grease and uh, other stuff, the chemicals left on the board, so it's going to affect adding. Uh, you don't want any uh, oil film or grease film forming on the uh, board. That way, uh, the adding solution, which is the uh, ferric uh, chloride, can actually uh, start reacting with the board. Get rid of the uh, dishwashing soap and, and the acetone, aka uh, nail polish removers, and some excellent stuff. And you can get it like really cheap, and uh, it's readily available. Um, it can remove any uh, like hard to get rid of uh, stuff. So okay, just to. Uh, wipe off the uh, water make sure you don't leave any you you cannot leave any fingerprints on that otherwise it's gonna become a part of uh, the problem when you're transferring uh, uh, your PCB design onto these boards okay I'm back with uh, the gloves and uh, some uh, paper towel so put on the gloves and uh, I have some acetone ready here pour some acetone you don't want that to contact your skin to be honest and uh, just wipe off the uh, board like this and uh, leave it to dry actually uh, yeah, that should be enough see the stuff coming out of the uh, coming off the uh, board the, the yellow tintish stuff I don't know what that is probably some kind of grease but uh, you, know, you gotta remove those otherwise uh, your transfer will be uh, incomplete in some part of the area okay let's wipe it off again this stuff really smells but uh, anyway that's uh, the final preparation before you started before you start to transfer your PCB design to the board you know just uh, wash it with uh, dishwashing soap and um, 
then uh, let the board dry and then apply uh, some acetone to remove the uh, stuff on the board. Okay, I'm heating up the uh, iron and uh, this is the uh, PCB of the etching. Um, a trick I learned. I'm doing this on the ground, by the, uh, by the way, on the floor, by the way. Uh, you fold the uh, paper in half, like just regular white uh, copy paper. Um, and then you line up the board, and then uh, you put your design. Lay the design down. Line everything up. So everything should be uh, lined up correctly here. And uh, just double check, make sure everything is tight. There. Hold it down. Bring the paper over. Then you can put the iron on. Make sure uh, you don't accidentally move anything. And leave the iron on there for uh, a good two or three minutes before you start it. Before you start to putting down pressure, just you know you need to heat everything up first. And um, uh, by the way, uh, the PCB design we just printed. You have to uh, make the <coughs> design facing down downwards uh, onto the uh, copper side so I'll just leave it here and uh, I'll come back later for this you can make sure you put uh, pressure on Make sure, the most important part is to make sure uh, the heat is even. It's very, very even on the uh, board. So you don't get any uh, mistransparent traces, stuff like that. Okay, I think we're good. So uh, I'll be uh, leaving this uh, board. I'll be putting this board aside to let it cool down a little and then uh, we're gonna start it to uh, give it a bath uh, so uh, all the paper come off okay I have this uh, board um, sitting in uh, warm water for a couple of minutes and uh, as you can see uh, it can be uh, easily peeled off But uh, there's a layer of uh, white paper still on there. And make sure you get rid of that. Uh, it's very easy. And uh, the next step uh, we'll be looking at is the actual etching. But uh, uh, let me uh, finish doing this and uh, um, I'll see if uh, there's any uh, in the perfection. Uh, on the uh, transfer board and now showing you how to fix that it's actually even easier these two boards are ready to be etched but uh, before we do anything um, you might notice there are a couple of um, spots that uh, started to pitting a little bit the The black so we just covered it up with uh, a uh, permanent marker so I've already covered up uh, the site 
And uh, there's a little bit just cover it up so that you don't end up with an uh, kind of ugly uh, PCP. But uh, all the traces are fine. <clears throat> so I guess uh, these two boards. So uh, when you're etching stuff, because um, uh, uh, ferric chloride is uh, very uh, corrosive, this stuff here it says danger, poison, corrosive. So when you're dealing with this stuff, just be careful, okay? And uh, you need a a very well ventilated area to do, do this because it's going to give out um, a fume of uh, chloride smell so uh, the reason I'm doing this in the basement is because I have a fan just above head and I'm going to turn that on later and uh, another thing is uh, make sure you're wearing glove actually gloves you need a glove on both ends all the time when you're dealing with this stuff. And uh, I have a bottle here just to uh, collect all the uh, used stuff uh, solution. And uh, I'm gonna, when this bottle is full, I'm gonna dump it to um, um, <coughs> recycling or waste uh, recycling uh, um, place. Do not just dump this down the drain and uh, you're gonna have problems and it's uh, I think in some states it's against the law so you know keep that in mind and uh, one last thing make sure you you're close to a water source say uh, I have a faucet like on my left hand side uh, I can turn it on uh, I can just turn it on uh, immediately if I need water okay that's that's some precaution you need to be aware of when you uh, started etching. So uh, this is the fresh bottle. I'm gonna crack this open. Okay. Let's see the color. Mm. And then uh, use a plastic container. Just pour enough to cover the bottom. You don't need a lot. Trust me. Okay, a little more, yep, this should be enough, and uh, yeah, I'm sorry I'm doing this uh, on top of the toilet, but uh, yeah, that's probably the best place to do it, like I said, and then uh, you take the uh, board, one last final check, make sure everything is okay, and then just place the board facing downwards. Okay, you're good to go. First one. But anyway, I'm gonna just, you know, do it one by one. It's gonna be quick anyway. Yeah, the, the reaction already started. I don't know if you can see. There's some, uh, Residue started to coming off the board, out of the board. Black stuff. Make sure, uh, you know. Uh, another thing, uh, when it comes to etching, um, you need to make sure the uh, room temperature is all right. You know, uh, the colder, the slower the re reaction. The hotter, the uh, faster. The uh, reaction. Usually, I do this uh, with a plastic fork or something. But, uh, yeah, it should be good. You know? Rock it back and forth. Okay, we're good. And then uh, I'll just leave the uh, stuff in the uh, solution for uh, maybe uh, five to ten minutes, and I'll come back check on it.
Yeah, let's turn the fan on. The first board is done, and uh, I uh, I've taken it out and uh, cleaned off the uh, toner. So let's check the uh, second one. Yep, it's done. I just uh, gonna rinse this off real quick. Yep, that's quick. Oh, a little bit. Uh, as you can see all the uh, black area is on edge so uh, let's put it back for another 10 to 15 seconds and I'll be uh, starting from there I'm gonna just uh, turn on the water and uh, let it start to rinse off the board. And I'll be cleaning off the, uh, some of the uh, Take the isopro, the nail cleaner. Just pour it now onto the board. And then you can see uh, now it comes out really easy. Put a hole. And there you have it. I rinse it on the water, and I'm gonna do the uh, next step. Okay, here's the uh, final step. And uh, I have the board dry, and then we're gonna tin the board. Um, it's a liquid tin, and you can get this stuff on Amazon. Um, pretty good stuff, but uh, keep in mind this thing is uh, flammable and uh, poisonous, corrosive too. So uh, when you use this stuff, you know, use it with caution. Okay, let's get started. Open up the bottle, and then just pour onto the board. You can see the color change changes. Just got to go back and forth on the board. And uh, Because I have two boards, so I poured a little more. Usually I just uh, you know, use very little of this stuff. So, you know, rock, rock it back and forth. And now you can see the color starting to change. That's, called, uh, that's the uh, chemical tanning of the board. Oh, you can do it with a regular tanning uh, method. Like, uh, you know, just use a hot uh, soldering iron. And uh, some flux, you can do, do it that way, but uh, I find it, uh, if I'm doing it this way, it's more even. And uh, as you can see, uh, now it's uh, started to take on the uh, silvery uh, tin color. And um, 
By doing this, you're preventing uh, the copper from uh, being ox oxide. And uh, flip the board, make it upside down, let it sit for a couple of minutes. And, uh, and yeah, that's it. See? Nice and shiny. And then uh, you rinse the rinse it off uh, in the sink. Okay. Here's the uh, finished product. And uh, this board is the uh, preamp board for my uh, AX84 uh, single-ended uh, amp build. Um, so uh, I will do another video on the, uh, the finished product. And uh, please uh, comment below. Um, if you like the video, hit the like button, and uh, if you like my channel, please uh, subscribe, and I really appreciate that, and uh, this is uh, Kilo Delta 2 Alpha Victor Uniform, and I'll uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.